UNSW is the premier engineering university in the country. It's also got a worldwide reputation and the degrees that our students get are like the gold standard and they're tradable anywhere else in the world. UNSW is known primarily for its work on photovoltaics, solar cells and renewable energy. This is the biggest university photovoltaic research program in the world. It has 120 PhD students, it has 50 other graduate students getting master's degrees, and it has 460 undergraduates, by far the biggest academic program in photovoltaics in the world. Photovoltaics is a transformative part of energy. So the work that we do here, which is advancing photovoltaics, is, is important work. And a significant fraction of our students and today's generation of students come here because they want to change the world. They want to make the world a better place. The mission of the school is to accelerate the world to a, a time when we're much less dependent, in fact, totally independent of fossil fuels. So our two main courses are photovoltaics and solar energy. And the second course is in renewable energy. UNSW and the School of Photovoltaics and Renewable Energy is absolutely uniquely placed to run those types of courses. We have world leaders in research and we have captains of industry as part of our alumni and, and our adjunct professoriate. Um, we, we have a unique and uh, incredibly strong background in, in all of the necessary areas. Martin Green is leading a really exciting project that's seeking to produce 30% efficient solar cells based on tandem structures of perovskites and CZTS on more conventional silicon solar cells. My main interest at the moment is what the technology might look like 10 or 20 years down the track. How can we take the efficiency of the cells from our present 25% record to something over 40% efficient? I think the reason our research is so important is that it's fairly clear now that, that photovoltaics is going to provide a big part of, our, of the world's energy future. I came here to advance my research um, in two different areas, the area of high performance silicon solar cells and the area of thin silicon. I thought that the, the technology here and the skills here match with the designs I had would solve the problem and this is it. So this is the thin silicon solar cell that I came here to develop and it, and it works great and it, I don't think it could have been finished anywhere else in the world. My other program though was uh, to develop a tandem solar cell with silicon which is probably the hottest topic in silicon today and a real emphasis of this school and our research in that space has just crossed the 20% point, which is a record for a tandem solar cell on silicon. One of our most exciting research projects at the moment are being led by Stuart Wenham and Chi Mun Chong, and that's on the hydrogenation of silicon. And in that project, we hope to greatly reduce the cost of silicon wafers that we need in all of our devices. The hydrogenation technology is one that we're currently developing and we're very excited about at UNSW. Basically, we have known that hydrogen can passivate defects and contaminants in silicon material for about 30 years now, but what most people did not realise was that if you can control the charge state of hydrogen, you can improve its passivation qualities about a million times. The advanced hydrogenation technology we believe will have huge commercial value to the world. We believe that by using the hydrogenation technology, we are able to use low cost, low quality silicon material to make very high efficiency solar cells. So in the one hit, we have lowered the cost and improved the efficiency. And in doing so, we believe that we will be able to halve the cost of PV in the world today. Amongst our educational and outreach activities, SunSwift is, is something we're incredibly proud of. We see fabulous students running an absolutely state-of-the-art project on our solar car uh, and it's something wonderful to behold uh, every year. SunSwift is a group of university students from UNSW who design, build and race solar cars uh, to push the boundaries of sustainable transport and also for renewable technology solutions. SunSwift is a really exciting project for engineering students 
because you get a chance to apply your engineering skills in a very practical way, similar to how you do in industry. And you get to meet a lot of different people from whether engineers or business people from a range of different industries. One of our previous project directors recently scored a job with Tesla. Photovoltaics and renewable energy have got a huge future and the scientists and the students that we're producing have a huge role in that future.